first select to go and do the right side machine inspection. So you'll see that come up on the screen. It's a very simple interface in the upper left hand corner is what we call an assisted sort of reality guide. So we're going to select the compass icon and then Mark's going to hold up his tablet and I'm going to look at the machine. And what's going to happen is the camera that's in the hardware is evaluating the machine as we're looking at it and it's telling us, hey, if you want to do a right side inspection, you're actually standing to the rear of the machine. So I want you to move over to the right side. And it's drawing an arrow to go ahead and do that. So Mark and I are going to move over here to the right side of the machine to do a couple of machine inspection points. Right side tracks proper. So Mark's going to click on the wrench. I can do the same thing. I can look here at the machine. The image processing is pulling up on the right side of the machine and it's pulling up the virtual image on the right side sprocket. This part looks good. So now we can click on the documentation button. And there we can type in the part looks good. And if we want to take a picture of it, we can we'll click the OK here and we'll take a picture of that right side sprocket. So, you know, in the past, maintenance inspections have been filled up by paper by hand. The, the next generation that you're seeing here is that we're actually guiding the person to the park. Okay? We're going to go on to the next part we're going to show you, which is the right side track tensioner. So this is the 287 You'll see that the uh, track tensioner is right here. What I'm looking for is damage to the nut, damage to the thread. You know, it's really about helping to guide that person that's a novice with this piece of equipment to where the items are and help them do their quality inspection. Because we've got some data that shows quality inspections, where that information is fed into the maintenance planning, will really help improve an overall machine's reliability and durability, thereby improving the total cost of ownership. Again, the camera is doing all the tracking for us. It's identified right at the rear of the machine. Now it's giving us the thumbs up. But here we're going to hit the wrench and we're going to have it tell us where that door handle is. So Mark's hit that. It's shown it. And it's shown that that's right here. You can see my hand in there, right in the image. Now, the next step in the process is actually to use the safety pins to lock this door open. I know where they are, so I'm not going to actually have the system guide me to it. Like I said, with the assisted service information, I'm just going to grab this and I'm going to move it down. And then we're going to advance to the next step, which is locating in the engine compartment where is the engine air filter. So we're going to click on the wrench and have it show us where this is. And it's right here. So that's where the item is here in the engine bay. We're going to click the thumbs up and we're going to move to the next step. The next step is how do I unlock the cover here on this engine air filter? So it's going to show us where the lock pin is that holds this cover on. It's going to give you the arrow right to here. So I'm going to pull the lock cover off, or up, and we're going to move to the next step. Now, which direction to turn this cover is actually on the housing. But if you've worked around machines much at all, you'll know that this is very rarely clean. It's a dirty, muddy environment. So we're trying to give them some help here. So we're going to hit the wrench, and you're going to see it's going to guide you into which way the cover comes off. Give that good hard click. Now the cover's loose. We're going to move to the next step, which is actually pulling the cover off. It comes straight out at us then we can get access right into the engine air filter. This is a two-stage press fit filter. It can come straight out, and that's how simple we can replace the engine air filter. Now, as you can see with this tool, what the hope and the guidance is, is that we can take a novice mechanic, or maybe even an operator on a site, and teach them how to do these simple tasks. So that frees up the more experienced people to do the harder tasks around the job site. 